Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be testing out a bunch of new drugstore products. I am gonna dive right on in. How often does that happen? Almost never. So I just really need some makeup on my face right now. I am feeling so much better. Reading the comments in my most recent video has me cracking up. I love all of your thoughts about everything, like the randomness, the support, Port, just all of it. What am I even doing? This smells like cinnamon. The thing that I was laughing at the most is that someone seriously was like, Tati, don't ever stop filming. The ADHD community needs you. We think you have undiagnosed ADHD. And I was laughing so hard because um, let's be honest, maybe. I'm sitting down and I was like, oh wow, I curled my hair today and it looks so amazing, <laughs> but I forgot to shave my armpits. So we'll just blur them out if I lift my arms and I get a hall pass because I've been sick for a month and life is life. And what am I even doing? I'm already scattered. <laughs> am I undiagnosed ADHD? Would that make sense for my life? Would that, is that something that I should look into? Oh my gosh, okay. So we're gonna go ahead with this amazing new hard candy primer. This is the Glow Primer, you guys. This is loaded with vitamin C, peptides, and hyaluronic acid. You know what, it says to just put it on with your fingertips, so guess what? Three, two, one, we're gonna do that. Just with my fingers. It has a golden sheen, which terrifies me, but I already, oh my gosh, it is spicer on, oh my gosh. Um, to be continued. Like, do I need a commercial break? Woo! This literally feels like I just put lip plumper on my face. Pray for my skin. Hashtag prayers for Tati's face. This might do me dirty. <gasps> Why am I continuing putting it on? It is delightfully moisturizing. Does this have niacinamide in it? Mm, no jokes. Attention, please. This is spicy, gel consistency, has a lot of glimmer in it, like a lot of bronzy mica, something in there. It feels so wrong, but kind of right. Is this, I'm kind of in the danger zone, but this might do some good things. It says it has golden flecks in here. I like the ingredients, a little bit concerned as to why it feels actually warming to my face. I do wanna go on top in my pore-ish area with a little nano blur. Got this at Target. I'm still loving it a whole lot. Woo! Okay, so we're gonna go in now with Revlon's new Skin Caring Foundation. This also has squalene and hyaluronic acid. It's gonna be a good makeup day. I can feel it, cheers. If you were curious, I'm back on the caffeine. This is a chai tea that is so delicious that you can't even believe like how good it tastes with like Nothing. It's so good. It smells like a candle. It tastes like a memory. I don't even know what that means, but that's how I feel about it. Revlon sent this to me. This is new. You guys know I am all about the Color Stay foundation. That is my jam. Um, does anyone still say that? I do. That is my jam. I love it and I refuse to not have it in my collection. So whenever I kind of align with a foundation, whatever said brand launches next, I'm like, gimme, 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 I wanna try it. So I'm excited to put this Illuminance foundation to the test. However, I don't know that this is my shade. Number 209. Revlon has a really great range of colors, so I can always go, you know, bop it down to Target and get a different shade. But we're just gonna try, we're gonna see. If we have to adjust with bronzer, yeah, we might have to, so be it. But I just really wanted to try this. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Ugh. 209, you were playing me. Oh my gosh, why, like, it's gonna be okay. We are having fun. That's how I feel about makeup right now. I'm just, you know what? After the month I've had, I am not in the mood to stress about anything. I think that is what snapped in me growth-wise over the past month. It's like, don't sweat the small stuff. I don't care about the inconsequential little things. I'm just not gonna let them bug me. And it has been liberating. 
This is really nice though. Like it's sinking into the skin. I have hopes that it's gonna really oxidize and then be very perfect. A little confusing to me because then it's like, do I get a darker shade? Do I not? Um, but I think somehow it's like morphing with my skin. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I honestly cannot remember if I reviewed this or not. I did a video on the foundation. I remember doing that. I don't remember if I tried this or not. This was sent to me in PR. And so I'm kind of having like a, did I, did I not? Do I just not remember? But I usually remember everything. I have a total elephant brain with everything that is most not important. How do you guys deal with your memory? Do you like, I literally, and probably the worst person to argue with because not only can I remember most of a conversation that I've had, if it's really important to me, but I can tell you like the song that was playing, the pattern of the carpet on the floor, other people that were there, what I was wearing. Like I have such a weird brain for like, not photographic memory, but like spatial photographic memory. Does that make any sense to anyone? It's super weird. James is constantly confused by it. He's like, what? the heck? My dreams are like that too. Like I'll be telling him like a dream and I'm like, and the carpet was this weird wavy pattern with red and then the threading was metallic gold and I was standing there and I looked at these shoes that I was wearing. He's like, you you literally take in so much detail when you are dreaming, I don't do that. Someone make me feel better in the comments. Okay, this is Soft matte concealer, waterproof, love that, in real life filter finish. Okay, so we're hoping to look like swipe right in real life without swipage. I like it. You're cute, I like you. Sigma, you confuse the crap out of me. This is the Cream Blush in Nearly Wild. I love this color. It goes with my vibe today of purple metallic. I wanted exactly this kind of rosy pink for my blush. Now Sigma confuses me because they are sold at both Target and Neiman Marcus. Please make this make sense. Is it a drugstore product? Technically, like technically, right? Target counts as the drugstore, but also it's high end. It's a little like medium in price. I love Sigma. It's like a new thing for me to be like all about this brand because they've been around forever. Wow, that is too much. <laughs> I'm an expert. We're gonna be fine. Um. Okay, I'm gonna take my beauty blender to the rescue. This is gonna be, this is turning into a tips video for a moment. If you try out the cream blush trend, and it is just packing a little bit too much of a punch for you. Take the excess foundation on your beauty blender or take the brush that you used, whatever you used, and just kind of go on top of it, just a tiny little bit that will calm it down. Most mistakes you can fix. And then worst case scenario, we're not sweating the small stuff, remember? We're just living our best. Out the gate, the foundation is incredibly hydrating. It has a really intense luminosity to it without being overly greasy or oily. This might be a little too intense for me. I do have drier-ish skin nowadays, but I still tend to go for more natural finish instead of dewy finish because there's a lot of humidity in Texas and I can end up looking like a greasy mess really quickly if I'm not careful. I am still seeing my hyperpigmentation poking through, which, you know, I have to be in the mood to like really mask all of this out and I'm just not in that mood today. So we're gonna go in with the Revlon Colorstay Blot Matte Setting Powder. This is a 16 hour wear powder. This is newer. They also have the Colorstay Lock 24 hour setting mist. I actually have been liking this. I was kind of on the fence at first, but I do really like this as an alternative to something like Urban Decay All Nighter. It is just that really intense kind of hairspray type setting mist that if you use it too often, it can be drying on the skin. But if you have an occasion where you're like, I need it to lock in, I want my makeup to look good all night long, then this is a really good one. So I'm curious to use this powder. It does have a little bit of a tint to it. I have new lippies from Physicians Formula. I don't have a liner. Okay. 
I'm gonna go in with Koki in Natural. This is a liner that I know, love, and trust. The skin looks good. What? The skin looks so good. For not being heavy, I'm kind of bewildered. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna go into Diamond Last from Physicians Formula. This is the Mineral Wear Lip Cream and I have the shade Topaz Taupe. Is that the shade I wanted to use? Just kidding. And I have the shade Majestic Mauve. Is it mauve or mauve? How do you say it? Try to explain yourself in the comments. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> I just glanced at myself in the monitor. What am I even doing? I'm like, <laughs> take two. I apologize, the caffeine is hitting me. I've been sick and no fun for a while, so. It's kind of coming out. It's all coming out at once. I feel sophisticated. Okay. I'm gonna go on top because I want like a little gloss on top. This is a little too, a little too dead for my taste right now. So this is the Diamond Gloss Mineral Wear from Physicians Formula. It's just a clear gloss. Let's see how different and unique it is. It does not smell like anything. Wow. <laughs> um, the delayed wow. There's nothing that came off on the doe foot applicator from what I just put on my lips. It's like a magic trick. Like that just really impressed me about this product right here. Okay, Koki has come through with new brow pencils that look so high-end designer. I just really like the packaging. I have not tried this yet. I'm gonna go in with chocolate brown. Maybe we'll be a little more dramatic with the brows today. I don't know. I'm still obsessing over the Mooncat polish in Not Today Satan. I cannot get enough. I repeated my Manny. Like I just painted them last night and I really don't wanna ruin it. So I'm just taking my time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna take the most intense mirror anyone has ever used. I really love the clarity of this particular mirror, but it's not for the timid, I will say that. But I've never used a clearer, more precise mirror in my life. Use code TATI for money off. Oh my God. All right, I am loving this. Wait a second, you guys don't even understand. The struggle I have with my brows, this color is perfection and it's not overly dry or waxy. This is reminding me of Dior. What? Koki makes good liners, just write that down. Just honestly, I'm not affiliated with them at all. They make great. Liners, lip liners, eyeliners, brow liners. That was the fastest I have done my brows in a long time and liked them. Come closer. Uh oh. My lip gloss is doing this thing where it's like, it's not doing a good job being lip gloss. Bad, bad lip gloss. Bad lip gloss. Let's zoom in. I am feeling quite dissatisfied with my lips right now, with the lip look, with the spillage of the gloss. But we're gonna move past that and go into something so exciting and so satisfying. This is new from Hard Candy. This is the iDef Metallic Eyeshadow. I do have a few different shades. There's like a really pretty turquoise blue. There's a more champagne shade. I wanna say there's like a silver shade. But of course, my eyes go straight to this one. We all know I love purple and I just think it's the prettiest color. We can argue about it. I just love everything purple. So let's see how this applies. It has kind of a golden shimmer inside of it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is so beautiful. Honestly, stunning. 
I love golden with purple. Get out of here. I love it. I am hearing birds sing, magical noises, like, oh my gosh. The camera is not doing it justice. This is pretty. What I do want to do is put on a little bronzer because I just feel like I need a little color back on the skin. Oh my gosh. Okay, Revlon sent me this crazy lash curler. What even is this? This looks dangerous. Mm, okay, we're gonna try and just do mascara and see how that feels. Oh my gosh, am I doing this right? Is this right? This feels weird. What? Okay, um, that did get makeup all over it, but is this more for like when you get your falsies on, I guess? That just took off all my eye makeup. What have you done? Why have you played me this way? Okay, I don't know how I feel about that one. We are gonna go into this new Maybelline. Love that we're like in a purple vibe here. We're in the purple mood where everything is color coordinated and it makes me feel good. Okay, so we're gonna go into this Maybelline New York, the Falsies Surreal. This claims to do this. Do we believe this? Do we think it can do that? We're gonna find out. So this is the Falsies Surreal Extensions Mascara. Now something that I thought was super creepy and a little weird is that this is a product from Maybelline that is endorsed by an AI bot, like a fake person. How do you guys feel about AI selling you your makeup products? Like, like an animated character being like, this mascara is amazing. And you're like, you're a cartoon. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just felt really weird. I was at Target and I was standing in front of the display like, <laughs> Like what? The robots are coming for our jobs. Um, and that was my first thought. And then more jokes aside, I'm like, but honestly, like how does this give us any insight to how the product actually performs? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just not into it. I wanna know what real people think about products. So I'm gonna give you my real opinion. We're going in, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's pretty nice. Wow, actually, you know what? This is really nice. And it took me a hot stubborn minute to wanna to try it because I don't know, I was like not convinced that it would be anything spectacular. I've not seen anyone using this and I don't trust an animated character. This is really nice though. Oh my gosh. Like, are you kidding me? The before and after on this is insane. I don't know that I'm gonna put falsies on now. Like this is so nice. Here's the thing, either this is really nice or my castor oil on my lashes is working. Maybe both. I'm doing that you guys. And like, I actually think that there's something to it. If you order like a bag of spoolies and some castor oil, it's not very expensive and nightly, put it on your lashes, they will grow, they will grow. Brows, even on the hair a little bit. I have not been this impressed with a mascara in a long time. This is giving lash paradise, but fluttery. And I love how this looks. Please do not flake. I will let you guys know how this goes. But right now, it's doing enough for me that I am not gonna apply falsies. And I had falsies sitting right here. I have the 424s from Ardell. These are the Naked Lashes. My 
very, very favorites, my current favorites, the 421. I guess we're all like in some big time love with those lashes because they are sold out everywhere, everywhere. They are gone. Um, so I was gonna do the 424s. I don't think I need to. I'm really loving with my makeup right now. And I think it is more modern and current and on trend to be a little pulled back and less is more. Show some of your imperfections, let your real skin shine through a little bit. We don't need to be so absolutely perfect. Things don't have to be, you know, cut crease and like super sharp. If you wanna be creative and do that and express yourself, go for it. But I don't feel like that is the everyday out and about look that the majority are craving. I mean, part of me does this kind of makeup and is like, I kind of feel like I look a little messy, but then it's interesting because I also feel like I look like me. And there's something really great about that. And there's still a need to find really excellent products in this kind of a look. And I think at the drugstore, we're seeing a lot of really, really great stuff pop up. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the shadow on because the lash curler literally like took it off. So I'm gonna do a little of this. And that's the nice thing of using just one and done is if you do need to touch it up, no problemo, just like go on top with whatever you're using and bam, you're refreshed. We have made it to the end of our drugstore makeup adventure and immediately I know what I like and what I do not. This mascara is a smash hit, even though I'm not a big fan of the whole AI component of the ad campaign, I'm gonna get past that and love on it so much anyway because this really did something for my lashes, I'm shocked. All right, so let's go back to the beginning. The primer, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm gonna give it another go. It was a little spicy, which caught me off guard, but I do like the ingredients. And the foundation, I'm gonna say, if you have dry skin, try it out. I'm gonna stick with the original color stay that is working for me, that gives me a little bit more coverage that I personally like, because I do like to cover up this nonsense right here. If I had perfect clear skin and no sun damage or discoloration, I think I might feel a little bit different. So if you're looking for a light, natural light kind of a coverage and you have drier skin, I think you should check it out. It does feel really nice on the skin. And then I wanna go ahead and say the powder is so, so, Juries out. The lip creams from Physicians Formula are great. The gloss, absolutely no. Like, eh, no. That just glopped everywhere and pooled everywhere. The hard candy shadow, man, I mean, on my hand, it is, do we see? It is budge proof. So I'm gonna have to see how it wears. It didn't give me as much dazzly wow as maybe I was hoping for just looking at the tube but it is really pretty and it feels really nice. That lash curler just almost destroyed all of my metallic fantasy dreams. So I don't know that I would use this unless I was using this on top of lashes, which maybe that's what it's designed for, but it kind of took off my eye makeup. So that was a pass. The Sigma blush is super crazy pigmented. Use at your own risk. I still like my Danessa Myrix blush better because it just blends out. This is kind of that same category of intensity, but it is a little bit harder to blend. You guys know this is already a fave from L'Oreal, the Infallible Wear Bronzer. And then Koki really hit a home run with these new liners. I am loving them. What else did we try? I do like the setting mist and the In Real Life Concealer is doing it for me. I'm not creasing and I'm really happy about that because that is something that I demand from my concealer. If it starts creasing right away, you're out of here. So I will be reaching for this again. Everything's said and done. This look is a very no fuss given kind of a look and I'm here for it. I feel like it's more modern, effortless, like kind of that undone. She's pretty, but her imperfections are showing a little bit, but whoa, there's like something colorful on the eyes. It's kind of like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I've enjoyed playing around with this more smudgy kind of a makeup trend because it's fast and I still get to try exciting products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's some great new things at the drugstore. Also, I think I'm gonna be getting my hands on a bunch of new L'Oreal makeup. I actually have plans after filming this 
to go to the drugstore and buy more drugstore makeup because we are in launch season. There's a ton of new makeup right now that's available. So expect more drugstore makeup looks coming your way very soon. Make sure you are subscribed and ring the bell. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss those future uploads. I apologize for being slightly caffeinated, but I'm just excited to be back filming because I felt like garbage this past month. And thank you for being super supportive in the last video as well. Okay, let's wrap this up. I love you all so much. Go have a good one. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.